And welcome, friends! It is I, Russell Scarf, and it's time for the Short Smile Beginner Guide to... Janus! Janus, Janus, whatever way you want to pronounce his damn name. It's a J, it's an A, it's an N, it's a U, and it's an S. It spells Janus. So, he's the new god we're going to play this time, and he is really, really hard-hitting and very hard to kill because just the way he works. So we're going to go over that in this beginner guide. Of course, expert and advanced players, if you feel like I don't elaborate enough in some information here and there, Go ahead and say so in the comments and explain some information there so the beginners have more to read. Because here it is, we want this for the beginners. So you have the better idea of how Janus works, so you can be more comfortable trying him out, and be more comfortable fighting him because you got some more information about him. As always, you can go for tips and combos, his abilities, stats you want to focus on when purchasing things, and just stuff to think about. So, let's get going. Janus's Abilities First up is his passive Passages. Every time Janus goes through a portal or his threshold, he gains 25% scaling to his next ability. First ability is Portal. Now this can be placed on the ground or through a wall. When it's on the ground, Janus and enemies can be banished by the portal for 1.5 seconds. When you put it through a wall, Janus or an ally can go through it once on either side. His second ability is Unstable Vortex. This is two wavy skill shots that are not easy to land, but if you can land them both on a single target, you hit for a lot of damage. But the second hit does 30% less damage on that hit. Third ability, Threshold. This is a ground line that you can put on the ground. It gives allies and yourself movement speed buff. Enemies who are on it are slowed and take increased scaling damage from Janus's other abilities. It lasts 5 seconds. And finally, his ultimate, Through Space and Time. What happens here is it's a skill shot that you can charge up, and during that time you move and you can be CC immune, and then it fires. All walls within 500 feet get portals into them so that you and allies can go through, and it's not single time. You can go through it and your allies can go through it as well. And it does a lot of damage. It can go up to 200% scaling on its damage that's dependent on distance up to 800 feet. And it goes all the way to the other end of the map. It's just at 200% that's the max, 800 feet that's the max for the damage. Class and Rolls. So Janus is a mage, which means he's a glass cat and capable of lots of damage while being very fragile. He's a very glassy god. Janus does have a lot of abilities that do very hard hitting, and also allows him to scramble in bad situations, or help allies get out of bad situations, thanks to his portals and slow. Now the role for him is definitely got to be mid for beginners. In the mid lane you'll be relying on your vortex for clearing damage and on portals to set up kills for yourself or for ganks. You can also use these portals to get out of bad situations and to quickly rotate to other lanes if you want to attack them. Threshold also helps with this because of the movement speed buff on it. Now in team fighting phase you can stall enemies with your abilities or you can deal lots of deadly damage or you can help your allies escape with your abilities. You're really good at just scrambling, helping others scramble, and just killing everything in your wake. Then there's Janus's ultimate, which is really good for just convoying your team to wherever you need to go, and also for sniping objectives or killing enemy gods if you can aim well enough. Tips and combos. First up, your passive. Take advantage of your passive for surprise kills. What I mean by this is, you can go through a wall with a portal, and that gives you 24% extra scaling, then bam, you hit them with your two, that's a lot of damage, it'll probably kill somebody if they're low enough. Second tip, you can banish yourself to survive attacks. Ymir's ultimate happens, banish yourself, bam, you don't get killed. That's a really nice thing you can do there, and also with some other ultimates as well. Third tip, play it safe and try to hit with only one vortex. This is when you're a beginner, just try to hit with one vortex, you'll be alright. Hitting with two is something that you do when you're better at the game. Another vortex tip is perfectly spaced to hit both melee and ranged minions for clearing. It's really nice that you should know that. Next tip, try to threshold yourself and your opponent for maximum damage. This is because it gives scaling on the enemy and it gives you passive for your damage, so that's really nice there. And then finally, your ultimate is great for killing, escaping, saving lives, objectives, and getting your team to places. Just keeping that in mind, because your ultimate can do so many great things, so it's worth thinking about it. Now, when it comes to combos, there are really two kind of combos, and that is 1-3-2, 3-1-2. And this really is reliant on what you're trying to do here. But for the most part, what you're trying to do in this combo is, for the 1-3-2 is, you portal the enemy, then you put your threshold under them, and hopefully get on it as well, for all the bonuses possible. And then you've got your passive, you got all your power going into your two, and bam, you hit him with the two. It either kills them or horribly destroys them to the point that they only need like one more hit or maybe your ultimate to finish them off. Now the other one is 3-1-2, and it can be done for maximum damage or just to be safer because with the three under yourself or your enemy or just your enemy, it slows them down for portal, give, can give you passive, can also do the scaling on the enemy, hit him with the portal, there's the damage from the one, and then there's the damage from the two, hitting them really, really hard. That's a really nice thing you can do there. I know I just said a lot and it might be a little complicated, but those are really the combos you have. And just to note, you can always use ultimate to finish off if the enemy just barely survives all of that. Purchases for Janus. 
Now this might be overly simplified, but Janus is capable of a lot of damage and a lot of utility. The question is, do you want to be glassy while you're doing that? Do you want to be able to shoot very often? Do you want to hit really, really hard? What do you want to do with him? Because his main stats are power, pen, and cooldown in my opinion. You can also get lifesteal if you try to stay alive longer to deal more damage, that's up to you. But power and pen are huge because well, you're just hitting really hard and he can wipe people out in one to two hits. So you can do that. You can also skip cooldown so you can really do that. Problem with that is, of course, you're not hitting as often, so I like to have max cooldown, or at least some cooldown on Janus, so you can just do a lot of damage there, and because of the cooldowns, you can portal around, you can alt around, you can threshold around, you have a lot of scramble if you're able to just cast more often. You may not kill them in the first two hits, but you'll definitely kill them eventually if you're casting so dang often, or at least you're guaranteeing you don't get killed, and maybe they're just beat up so badly your team has to get the kill, who knows. Now for Actos, Bees and Aegis are just worth getting because the enemy team should be trying to lock you down. They should be trying to waste your beads because you should have them. They should be trying to waste your ages. They should be trying to kill you because if they don't, you will kill them. And if you don't kill them, your teammates will because they'll be coming over thanks to your portals. In conclusion, Janus in the right hands is a very hard god to kill and is capable of wiping out most gods in the game in seconds. Literally seconds. The most important things to learn about him are timing and range of his portals, aiming his vortex, threshold placement, and knowing when and where to use his ultimate. These will really help you out because you can just be so very useful to your team, causing a lot of trouble with the enemy, scrambling around, helping your teammates get to places. You can be a huge threat in the entire game as Janus, as long as you know what the heck you're doing and knowing where to do it. Now, as always, I feel that you should try to share these guides around with your friends so they get a better sense of Janus for playing with him, as him, and against him. And that's just what it's all about, learning gods better so that everyone just plays better at the game. That way, just better play in general. That's what I want, and that's what I hope you will make happen. Up next is going to be Kepri, and he should be a lot of fun. He is, of course, a very frustrating guy to deal with because of his just ability to resurrect people, hold people down. Be very annoying there. So there you go. That right there is the guide. I had fun making it. I hope you had fun watching it. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.